Good Monday morning. It's a treat to be with you on this uh, start of a fresh week with hopefully a fresh word for your day, for your story. We're still in Genesis and we enter this moment and we are introduced to a man named Noah. We're introduced to him in the sixth chapter of Genesis and it tells us in verse 5 that the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart, listen to that. I say often that um, I'm not a fan of extreme words when used in daily dialogue because they're usually not true. When we say you never, you always, but when scripture says it, I take note because I know every word in this book is true. It says, every intention of the thoughts of his heart was on evil continually. What a heartbreaking revelation of the state of what the environment was in that time. And interestingly enough, it tells us in Matthew 24, 37, that as it was in the day of, days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of man. Meaning to us that when Jesus comes back to gather his bride, his church, that the times and seasons are going to be very similar. And for lack of a better cliche, you'd have to be hiding under a rock to not encounter the, not just the prevalence of immorality in our nation, in the world at this time, but even the very strategic intentionality of evil is present. And it's a very sobering reality that we live in. And I would be concerned if we weren't sobered by it. And so this is where Noah enters the scene. And it tells us that the heart of the Lord was grieved by what he saw, and I can't help but believe that his heart is grieved by what he sees today in the world, in the hearts of men and women, in the lies and the deception of the enemy of our story that so many hearts are choosing to believe. Because remember, God made us with the gift of choice. We've That revelation has been all throughout what we've studied so far this year. And so God is grieved by what he sees and he makes it clear that he's going to wipe man from the face of the earth. But then it says this in verse 8, it says, But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And I think two things are beautiful here. Number one, I believe God was still looking for a man he could use. And number two, he found a man he could use. And so it would be really easy in this season of life and in the state of the way that things are to focus on the reality of the evil that exists. But I'm going to challenge us and challenge my own self personally that instead of focusing on the, the state of our world and the darkness that resides there, what if we focused more on being the light of God inside of the darkness and paid more attention to what's going on inside of here so that we can be found as men and women who have favor in the sight of the Lord? And this actually means that that, that word favor actually means that he found acceptance because he had a heart that was desirous of the things of God. You know, darkness cannot overtake light. We talked about this last year when we talked about Jesus being the light of the world. But light consumes darkness every single time. What this world needs is just people being the light of God they're called to be. Noah's in a generation that is in desperate need of Noah's. So let's ask, our, ask ourselves, ask our own hearts, Lord, I want to be acceptable before you. 
I know times are dark. I know they're evil. But I know this. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And show me how to be the light of you, a man or a woman who has found themselves acceptable in your sight, that you can still use for your purposes, no matter how dark the world may seem. He's just looking for someone who desires to be obedient to him.